It's almost baseball season and everyone and their mother is trying to predict the next big stars or breakouts this year. Guys like LeMahieu and Moncada who had huge years after being good, but not really that great. So here's four guys I'll think that have big jumps from last year and who you should watch out for. The first guy I got is Rays third baseman Yandy Diaz. Diaz only had 340 plate appearances last year, but he made a lot out of them. With an 816 OPS, he showcased his great power, but what was really intriguing to me was his walk rate and hard hit rate. He was among the top 8% in the league in exit velocity, with a walk rate above 10% and a K rate below 18%, which to me is pretty impressive. He's not going to be the best fielder on the diamond, but he can play well enough at third base to get by, and who knows, maybe he moves to first or DH. If he gets more at-bats, he could be primed for a huge year, especially the power-wise, in Tampa. My next guy is a familiar name, who made great strides back to his prime last year, Sonny Gray. Last year, Gray got his whip down all the way to 1.08, using a sinker a lot less and a slider a lot more. I expect him to stay on the same path and take great advantage of his 40 plus whiff rate on that slider. Gray, now 30, might just be entering the second prime of his career, going back to his Oakland days, even in a hitter friendly Great American ballpark. My third potential breakout guy was a highly touted prospect about two years ago. So much so that he was in the deal to send Paul Goldschmidt from the D-backs to the cards. He is Carson Kelly. Kelly made a huge jump last year, but I believe he's only getting started. With an absurd 13.2 walk rate in 2019, and the potential to be a very great defensive catcher as well, his 18 home runs and only 300 plate appearances showed he has real power at the major league level. I expect a huge year out of him, propelling him into the discussion as a top 5 catcher in baseball. Now for my last guy, we have another D-back, Zach Gallen. Gallen was acquired at the deadline last year for top prospect Jazz Chisholm, who was sent to the Miami Marlins. Gallen was incredible last year, posting a 2-8 ERA in only 80 innings pitched, but he played well. However, I think he could be even better in 2020. He strikes out over 10 guys per 9, had a high walk rate in 2019, but his past pro ball suggests that it could fall under 4, maybe 3 with some work. He also had one of the lowest burial rates allowed last year at only 5.6%. With 150 innings plus, he could potentially have 200 Ks and a sub 3.5 ERA, pushing him as the best starter in the Diamondbacks rotation. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to get something out there because I haven't posted in a while and these are four guys that think are going to have a really good year. Comment below any guys you think are going to have a big year and it'll be interesting to see at the end of the year who's right, who's wrong, who was really good, who did we miss, who did we overlook. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. I will post sometimes, maybe. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at Jackson Dells or Instagram at Jackson Dells. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.